Why, hello everyone! Welcome back to Greefall, where we left off. We tap he ass left and right. And we're gonna continue on this, the, um, the mission, I guess. Wait, is he the guy that we have to talk to? No, that's Mr. De La Consagna. Ooh, I smell how to spell it. Okay, so the captain is our, our loved one for now. Actually, I think he's going to stay ours for now. I like captains, pirates, and things like that. So let's get straight downhill. Alrighty, let's see where we're going to go. Talk to the uh, talk to Dunkis, Dunkis. Where was this at? Are y'all gonna give me some indications on where to go? Anything at all? I'm trying to figure out like what Halloween games should I play? So today I'm gonna write down all the Halloween games that I want to do for Halloween day. I'm a huge fan of Halloween. I love Halloween. I love everything about it. So I definitely want to check what kind of ideas I could do. What already? In heal? Oh my dude, you don't want to mess with this sword. Do you know Cloud from Final Fantasy? I borrowed this from him. What do you know about this lady? Here, I got this. Okay. Oh, no. You got it? Okay. So, now that he's dead. We can continue onwards. That's pretty much it, yeah. Okay, so we have to go here and talk to the village. Let's see what kind of things we could do. Okay, we have no need to talk to him. We just have to continue on. After loads, of course. Okay, now that we continuing, we could talk to this guy over here and see what we could do, basically. My dude, what's going on? Bertir Tumag. I am Dunkas, the Mal and the Doné God of the Yigido. You're okay. very strange for Renaise. Who are you? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. You are a Lugayer Blau? Oh, I didn't know there were on Almanawi amongst them. They may not be so different from us after all. What brings you here on Almanawi? My dear, let me tell you and let me tell you good. Talk about the conflict concerning the Glid Glid. At this glid. old man's request. I investigated the conflict that opposes you and my nation regarding the clearing. You will now be able to access it freely to accomplish your rituals or heal the area. And the congregation will keep exploiting the forest. However, there is one condition to this new agreement. You must deliver this man to us because he is responsible for the deaths of several woodcutters. These men died because of their own foolishness. No one else is responsible for their deaths. If they hadn't cut all the ochre berry trees, they would have survived. What does that mean? What are the two of you talking about? 
Three woodcutters died after eating the meat of an Andrig after it was killed by a venomous Dawson tat. It's nothing but a terrible coincidence. And if they had eaten the um, who berries, we uh, who, uh, can we can you come closer? You responsible for this. The hunters told me everything. How could you do this? You acted more foolishly than an irascible adolescent. Boy, killing these men, you have brought upon us their wrath. And it is only natural that they should ask for justice. Dunkus, I beg you. I only wanted the Renoixe to understand the value of the trees they were cutting. Bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed. And you know that. I would never have thought you capable of doing something so foolish. If you want to stop the woodcutters taking vengeance into their own hands, you must deliver this man to us. I understand. But I have one condition before we make this agreement. Very well. The Lugayer Blau fooled us in the past. It is their turn to prove their good faith. What do you want from us? There is a mine in the forest that the congregation has long operated with help from my people. But digging into the mountain has risked it collapsing. We reinforced the earth with wood. We worked with the Lugaid Blau to save the mountain and the men. We agreed to stop digging and sealed the entrance with a boulder. But some Renaigse came back. And I think they started digging again. And some of my people started going missing. Perhaps because they had seen them break their promise. I if see. If the mountain collapses and it is your clan's fault, thousands of lives will be lost. And you want me to intervene? You have to stop them. Remind them of their promise. This is the price of my trust. If you do, we punish the person responsible for the death of the woodcutters. And all our quarrels will be gone. I'll go to this mine and see what's going on. Is there anything else? Um, uh, my dude, that's pretty much it. Thank you for that. I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Qua Awalum say. Alright, guys, let's go over there and see what we could do. He wants to go to a mine. Hopefully, we've been over there already since we've been searching everywhere. There's a chance that we probably did win there. Can we travel to it? Ooh, this one is fall too. Okay, so we have been there. Alright. Alright, now that that's settled with. Let's see what mine is this. I feel like the mine is with the people that was inside. Oh wait, no, it's this one. Okay. Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. Actually, no one should be able to enter. This mine is doomed. It's terribly dangerous. I wouldn't know. Our employer, Mr. Mayard, is the owner. He's got all the deeds required. Listen, you should go to the authorities. They can confirm all the paperwork. I definitely will. Okay, so now we have to go somewhere else. This makes no sense. Why resume the exploitation of a dangerous mine? Do they want their men to die? These Renegs they must not have taken us seriously. We should take a closer look. Spy on the activity of the mine. Can I go in? Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. How do you want me to spy on them then? Ah. We should take the path that overlooks the outer wall. We should be able to see inside from there. Very well. Look, they freed access to the mine. Good thing we have the jumper ability. They use captives from the villages to dig their mine. They've made them into slaves. We must talk to Sir de Corsillon. I hope that our nation is not involved in this business. 
Okay. If they all, then we're gonna have to really side with the people of the village. Because I don't want anyone to be slaves or things like that. That's horrible, man. We'll try to teleport once again and see where we could go. Is there even a teleporter nearby? Oh, the campfires are teleported. Cool. Okay, we gotta go that way. And see what we could do. My companions are pretty good for now. And try to upgrade more. I definitely do want to upgrade them more, of course. But at the moment, I can't. Hopefully, we could solve all this wild bloodshed. But then again, if they decide to mess with us, then we have no choice. I mean, I'm very compromising. As long as people don't keep people as slaves, I'm very compromises. All right. Alright, we had to go all the way above and talk to the guy, and hopefully he could help us out with some sort of treaty or, you know, the release of all of them. Then again, I feel like these people does keep people in slaves. I don't like that, but I feel like that's what I'm seeing here. Hopefully it's not like that, though. My dear, what's going on? Serdico Cilio. The Sade, my young student, what can I do for you? Listen, I need to ask about the um, mines. I've come to ask you about a mine near Vigigador. It was closed for a long time for security reasons, but someone has started exploiting it again. Hmm. I seem to recall that a concession in this area was sold to a master Mayard. However, I do not recall the details of the contract. It was established by the previous government. He is a rich merchant from Serene who arrived on the island only a short while before we did. People say that he is unscrupulous. <laughs> unscrupulous? That's an understatement. I don't know what unscrupulous this man is. Has some natives captured and he's using them as slaves to work in this mine. What? Does this old brigand really think that he is above the law? We cannot tolerate such methods. But... We must determine the best way to attack him. You should start by finding the deed to his property in the archives. Don't worry. We'll not let this man's behavior go unpunished. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Actually, my dear, you, you've been very helpful, actually. Let's go and check these archives and see if we can find the deed in there. Hopefully, it's somewhere in there. If not, then we're going to have to find another way to find the deed maybe we could bribe the guy as well since he say that he's a very rich person so clearly he likes the money okay so the archives must be downstairs more I just had to find a way to go down there. I always have trouble going down there. Probably it's this way. No, no, it has to be that way. Yeah, that sounds about right. This document is written in a legal chagrin. It's a property deed belonging to Master My Lord. It concerns some land. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the mine thing. Documents say. I get lost in all the legal jargon. 
but they have Lady Moronja's seal on them. We should find her to understand exactly what they say. At least he doesn't understand it too. I don't need them, my boy. It's okay. Trust. It's okay. My girl, what's going on here? Good day, dear sir. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? Okay, tell me about the property deed of the mine. I need your advice once more. This time it's about the property deeds of a plot of land and of a mine acquired by a certain Mayard. Here are the deeds. I must admit that I understand very little of what's written, but your seal is on it. Hmm, do not worry. This type of document is always difficult to decipher for the uninitiated. Oh, However, thank you. They are very clear. Master Mayard is the owner of a plot of land located near Big Yigador. He can exploit the forest and plant anything he wants there, but it says here that he does not have the right to exploit the mine. It's even repeated in this other paragraph. Any attempt at mining on this land is forbidden. And yet the mine which was located on this plot of land has been reopened and is being exploited as we speak. According to these documents, the mine has been closed for security reasons. This man's behavior is reckless. You should go see him. He's presently in New Serene. He usually spends time at the port when he comes. He has some warehouses there. Okay, so you want me to see this guy who's exploring slave people and forbidden... I mean, and he's like mining in a forbidden place. <clears throat> Wow. Okay then. Come closer, good people. The cure is... Are you well, the good thing is. Okay, so you're the one who's exploring slaves. I could tell. And you're looking at he at. Master Mayard. Who's asking? The Sade. I am the legate of the congregation. Well, I'm flattered. What brings you here, Your Excellency? My dude, let me tell you. Tell you. About the mine you have near Vigigador. Are you aware that you have no right to operate it? Nor are you allowed to employ slaves there. But what are you talking about? Surely this is a misunderstanding. Listen, I'm sure there is a way for us to get along. I'm an honest merchant. I've always paid all taxes and the small bonuses needed. Please tell your cousin that I would be happy to send him the gift of his choice. Excuse now, me? Your Excellency, if you will allow me, I have to get back to my activities. I'm afraid you don't understand, Master. It's not a money problem. That mine is dangerous. And you endanger the congregation on this island by behaving this way with the natives. Come on, don't be so serious, young man. I'm sure it's nothing that a small bonus can't fix. Excuse Goodbye, me? Sir. Best wishes to your cousin. Oh my god, this motherfucker! Can I excuse me, your excellency? But I must have yeah. I have a lot of work. Yeah. Kill yeah. him! Why yeah. they don't give me the option? <sighs> He's keeping people in slaves. You'll find all you need in our selection. I'm so triggered. Legit bullshit, my dudes. Legit bullshit. He needs to be gone. And two guards just to guard this shining place? My god, y'all need to put your security a little bit more up. I'm sorry, but it's kind of true. Alright, let's see here. I'm over here doing work left and right. Left and right, my dudes. Alright, my dude, listen up. This motherfucker needs to be expelled everywhere. Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? Okay, my dude. First thing is first, tell him about Master, this Master Merlord. 
and he's a bitch. Tell him I that too. The contract with Lady Morange. The exploitation of the mine is illegal, as we expected, without even taking into account what he's doing to the natives. I then went to meet Master Mayard. So, what did he have to say in his defense? Oh, get ready. He turned a deaf ear and tried to bribe me. Oh, some of these merchants are so rich that they forget basic decency. But it's high time we reminded him of who is in charge of the congregation. That's what I'm island. talking about. Here, this is an eviction notice which dispossesses him of all his land for Good. breaching his contract. For his crimes against the natives, he's banished from this island. Oh! I will make him aware of this decision, but you should go to the mine immediately. The prisoners must be freed as soon as possible. I got the you. The mine closed once more. I'll take care of it. Can good professor still prove himself useful my dude you you're awesome my dude you don't need to help me no more you sit down Looking relax i'll bring you a you cup again. of coffee later Sorry, on trust okay one thing at least we got all those slave people free now we just gotta go over there and take them out i think we have to go there now actually um wait where is what does the quest say hang on let me look at it Chase the man away from the mines and free this. Okay, good. Let me get my ass over there. I hope to God they fight me. Because I assure you, they're not going to have a good time. Let me get my ass over here. Nobody should treat anyone like that. Like, legit. I'm sorry, there's just some things that I do not like at all. And slavery is one of the top things I don't like. My boy, I need to ride your carriage. <clears throat> oh, my girl, whichever one. No, your boy, yeah. Greetings. Do you so? My dear, let me tell you good and let me tell you now. Do you travel? You don't travel in none of those places. Thanks. Never mind. I'm going to take the long way. If I find a campsite, uh, it should be good. I'm glad that we actually, um, you know, helped them out. Here oh, you do not want to fuck with me now. Yeah, you do not want to mess with me. Get out of here. Are we good? Get all this junk and sell it later. You know, I'm a businessman, but not a prick. Okay. Whoops. Did not mean to drink that. My drinking habits. Alright, let me get out of here. Okay, we have to go heal. Abandon mine. All right, now that we're going there, we could free them. But I don't think it's the Gaul fault, unless they decide to mess with us. Because the Gauls are just doing what they, you know, what their job is. They got in the place because the guy told them to do it. But I feel like it's kind of their fault too. If they see people are slaving away there, they should do something to help them. I'm sorry, but it's true, man. I'm not trying to be a uh, prick. It's just true. Are we here? All right, my dude. Let my people go. Say something. Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. I don't need your authorization. I have here an eviction notice signed by the governor's ministers. The former owner, Mr. Mayard, has lost his rights due to a breach of contract. Look, ultimately, we are not the ones who decide. We only obey the boss's orders. In that case, where can I find him to notify him of his loss? You'll find him around here somewhere, Your Excellency. Excellent. Wait, so... You're still not... Oh my god. Okay, but you're letting me in now. Okay. What are you doing? Are you looking for trouble? 
You'd better be on your way. <laughs> oh my god, these fucking people. Master Mayard, I'm so glad to find you here. Here is a document from Sir de Corsillon on behalf of my cousin. Considering the fact that you have not respected the terms of your contract of ownership, you are hereby expelled. The methods you used against the islanders has also ensured your banishment from Tear D. Impossible. By what right? Guards, this man threatens me. Oh! Okay. Okay. Y'all want to challenge me? This is what I was waiting for. Let me tell you why you don't challenge someone like me. Because you're about to regret this decision. Yeah, your sword, your little dagger thing, that's shit to me. Trust. Hey, look at this. Get the fuck out of here. And you too, my boy. You know, peel my head. I'm his brother. These people were monsters. I wouldn't cry over them. Come now. Yeah. Let's go free my brothers, and we can tell Dunkers everything. Hang on. Let me get the loot. They only serve to have this shit. I'm telling you right now. They don't. All right. Let's go free them. Fucking pricks. Okay. Look at this shit. You know what? Get get out of here. I'm about to murder the rest. Trust. Okay, I unlocked that. Is there anyone else? What is this? I had to go in here too? Oh my god. Go without fear. You are free. And know that we are sorry for what happened to you. You must believe that not all Lugir blow or a loy. He is an on al Manawi. That's why he understands us. Thank you. We will not forget you. I got you, my girl. Don't worry. Let me look around this mine. Hang on. We can't go deeper in? Okay. So the guards outside, um, are they going to attack us too? That's the question. Oh, they... Oh, they clear out. Or maybe they was fighting us. One or two. I think they was fighting us because he said himself, like, he's threatening me, God's help. So I'm pretty sure those people came too. But damn, that's crazy, dudes. At least we freed them. That's the good thing. Man, this game is still getting juicy. I swear. Like, legit juicy. I have to wait until it loads. I want to get in the game already because it's getting good. Where are we? Ah, we're back to him. Okay. My dear, we free your people. Trust. And I apologize for those idiots. But you got to believe me when I say this. It's completely dead. Let me just grab this really quick. Okay. All right. Go for it. What brings you here on our Manawi? I was able to close the mine. The man who operated it was arrested and he will be banished. Yes. Those you freed told me. From now on, you are my Karantz, my friend. You knew how to renew my trust in your clan. Just as trees grow back after being cut. Thank you, Dunkers. I'm honored. Will you give us the old man now? If you allow it, I would like to punish him myself. Enough blood has been spilled, and okay. he will only call for more of it, since he loved the forest to the point of killing for it. He will be sentenced to heal it. Every day he will replant what your men will cut down. Every day until the end of his life. Whoa. Does this punishment seem acceptable to you? If I explain to Sir de Corsillon that the man was sentenced to forced labor, I suppose he will approve. Thank you, Dunkers. It's a wise yeah, That's sentence. not bad. Is there anything else? Ah, oh, that's pretty much it, my dude. I'm, I'm glad that I helped you out, though. I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkers. Qua Awalum say. 
Hey, Kualama could say to you, too. I'm turning into a grief for myself. Okay, now that we completed that quest, I'm quite glad that we got another quest done. Those are campsites, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, wait for Kurt to obtain information. Oh, wait, progress in the main quest? Okay. Okay, so let's try to do. Hey, this one first. All right, here we go. All right, let's go talk to um the guy about this. See what's going to go down. But I'm glad that we got one quest done, like legit. I always try to get as much progress done as possible. But for now, we just gotta wait. Any time now. There we go. Get out of here. Alright, my dude, I need to talk to you about these ruins. I'm pretty sure I know which ruins they're talking about, but then again, I explore a lot of ruins, so bear with me. I haven't talked to you in a minute, my boy. What's going on? Cousin. You have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. <sighs> no, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. <laughs> um... Report the outcome of the battle. We were not able... Alas, to stop the clash between the forces of the Alliance and Siora's clan, we arrived at the village and the battlefield too late. The Queen fell. I'm extremely sorry for your loss, Princess. Thank you. My sister survived, fortunately, and we are recovering from this tragedy together. But our clan was extremely weakened by this battle and by recent events. We shall keep a close eye on the Bridge Alliance and their undertakings. Rest assured. You should know that the battle took place in the middle of ancient ruins. The ruins were quite strange. We discovered a fresco that I'm certain was crafted by continental hands. Really? And how ancient are these ruins? Could they date back to the first landings of the Bridge Alliance? They date much farther back than their arrival would explain. My mother and my grandmother have always known them. Siora told me of a legend that spoke of them, about a people from the sea that were vanquished there. Do you think it was the Norts? It is not our custom to found a landlocked settlement. We have our islands and it is enough for us. If they are ancient, perhaps your people once practiced older customs. This story is troubling, but it reminds me of something that I once read in the reports of Lady Morange. You should go and find her. Perhaps she could tell us more about them. Very well. Anything else? Um, his parents, I guess? Any news of your parents? No. Okay. With the time it takes to travel to the continent, it's not surprising. But I don't miss them. My father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain. As for my mother, you know her. She's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence. Okay. Oh, this is kind of awkward. So, his parents again? Why? Any news of your parents? Oh, okay. No. My father's as for she's You know what, my boy? I'm, I'm sorry for her. I'm sorry for Goodbye, saying that. Constantine. Look out for yourself. This is quite awkward. I'm just going to go now. So, his mother is trying to kill him. His dad doesn't give a shit about him. Sounds like a lovely family. Oh, 
Geiler. Oh, I'll see here. Young lady, I know I've been talking your ear off, but I need some more information. Good day, dear sir. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? Listen, about the ruins of the battlefield, tell me about it. What do you know about the ruins found to the northwest of here? <laughs> the site that the natives call Didakidnadagais. That is not how we pronounce it, but yes, we are speaking of the same place. <laughs> your language is difficult to master, but I find it fascinating. Uh, to answer your question, I had countless questions about the place when our explorers and scouts first brought back sketches. Intrigued, I went there. I noted the architecture and their decorations. It is certain that they bear a striking resemblance with continental constructions, but they are more ancient. Too old to have been recently built by the Bridge Alliance settlers when they first set foot on the island. I even questioned the natives, but they only spoke of a people of the sea. My first thoughts went to the Norts, but they're not known for building large towns, less so cities. There are other ruins on a cliff to the east of here. Perhaps they hide the key to this mystery. I hoped to organize an expedition, but the region is dangerous and hard of access. We explored mines at the bottom of the cliff, but we were not able to find an access to the plateau. If the mystery of these ruins intrigues you as much as me, it is in that direction that you should begin to look for answers. Can I help you with any other matter? Um, that's pretty much it. Appreciate the information. My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. She gave us good information. Alright, let's go to this mine and see what we could do there. It's a box, hang on. Four gold is four golds, let's be honest here. Alright, can't ride with him because, well, her now. Because this is in the mine place, so we're gonna have to go to the teleporter and teleport Neil to it, I believe. I hear the music pumping. That's how you know something's about to happen. Ah, I see. Right next to the teleporter, too. They're getting more powerful, you see? Their weapons are getting way better. I just need more um, stuff to use higher weapons. They ate chicken. They ate chicken. That's so rude, because I want to do it. Well, I wanted to eliminate it. What's the mines at? Oh. Oh, mine camp. Good thing, you see, this is why it's a good thing to look everywhere. Okay. At least the loading is very quick, too. I mean, it doesn't waste too much time. Because it doesn't load, like, crazy, crazy much. I don't want to say no games. Pray... <coughs> But, you know. I'm just kidding. But for real though, that Prey game, my god. Good, beautiful game. Beautiful game. Now, let me throw that out there. But, the um, amount of loading is absolutely so, crazy, man. Told us about, but I do not know like, really crazy. The path collapsed. Some of the tunnels in the mine may lead to it. We should go there. All right, let's see here. The entrance to Qualosone is here. The people of the village might be able to teach us a few things. Okay, so we have to ask about the ruins. Your Excellency, it is an honor. Ah, can I have someone that talks to me? Good day, Your Excellency. Search the area, ask about the ruins. My boy, my girl, where are you? Good day. Okay, my girl. 
Listen, tell me about the um ruins. What can you tell me about the ruins on the plateau? You aren't the first to ask me about them, but the answer is still the same. I've nothing to tell you. Not that I wouldn't want to, but I've never been there. There must have been a path once upon a time, but it's no longer there. Maybe it collapsed. Some say that you have to pass through the mines to get there. A few of the tunnels do climb. It's certainly possible, I would say. But those tunnels are all closed, and we have better things to do. The iron ore. It doesn't come out of the ground by itself. Do you need anything else? Hmm. Explain about the mines, then. Talk to me about the mines. It wasn't us that first dug them out. They're really old. Centuries old. But those tunnels are full of riches. It takes little effort to unearth the minerals that we want. What more could we ask for? And seeing as how there aren't that many of us, if we were pressed to mine all the tunnels, we'd be too few. But the time will come when folks hear about what we're pulling from these rocks. We won't be alone for much longer. Okay. Find the passage towards the, mi the mines inside. Okay, so I should be able to do a lot of stuff in this. Because I got some levels to climb stuff. So if it has to do with climb, I got this. If not, then I don't. But let's go inside this mine and see what we can find. Besides enemies. Because I know there's going to be enemies. Let's be honest here. Once we find the main location on world to go, you know, down well, there will be enemies attacking us. I see here. In darkest places, you can turn on your lantern. Yeah, my lantern is 24 hours on. All right, let's see here. We have to go up here. Find passes towards the plateau. plateau. Just find an uh, 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 Find a zone, wherever the hell it is, to go there. Ah, I remember this. Remember I needed something, the cogwheel? I believe I made it too. To there, the there we go. I just saw an enemy in there. Hello. That's it. Okay. That's cool. At least we got a little bit. Ah, there was one on over here. Okay. There must have been a way that they came in. Because how else are they going to be surviving in this place? That's a question mark right here. What is this? Campfire? It's a workbench. Can I get this? Alright, there we go. We must be getting closer to the uh, mines. I mean, the ruins. Like, very close. This is going to lead me to.
Alright. What do we got here? Well, let's check the map first, see where we at. Okay, so we're in the other side of this. Let's see here. Ah, we're in the other side of the battlefield. Then there have to be more things in here. Finally, here we are. These are the ruins that Lady Lorene spoke to us about. I'll drown myself in the morning tide if these buildings are of native construction. Explore the area. Something may give away the identity of the architects. Let me set up the campfire first. Okay, so we have to explore a little bit and see what's in here. Oh my god, what, are, what is that? What are you? Are you like that octopus thing? Ah, you all. I know you're kind. Oh! Okay, but this one shoots. There we go, your thing is gone now. So that means I could attack you with my sword. Oh, you could keep knocking me down. Got you. Good, he's dead. A piece of pearl. Did well. Cool. A legendary sword? By George, I think I got it. Okay, so each area should have like enemies, I guess. Oh, wait, no, no. An old, almost illegal bird, Jonah. Our position on the island is becoming impossible to hold. Despite our best effort in many battles we have won, we are losing more and more ground. These savage, our formidable opponents, the root seems to obey them, and they are held by um, gigantic creatures, the likes of which we never have seen before. The creatures are approaching, and we are incapable of facing them. The laws are already preparing to board the ships that the Norths have stated near our position. As I expected, they say that there will not be enough room for everyone. We are going to die here, stunned by some giant raging monster. Cursed be the princes and their... Okay, well, the hell I was wondering. This journal confirms what we suspected. A continental nation had once attempted to colonize the island with the help of the Nords, and they were repulsed. From what I was able to decipher, few of them actually managed to escape. I should have known as soon as we discovered those ruins that we were not foreign to these lands. Mm. The major part of the journal has faded, and I'm not able to decipher the name of the author. Let's continue our search. We must discover which nation was here. I'm trying to, my boy, I'm trying to. Let's see him. Oh wait, can we go up here? Is it broken? Oh god, what's fighting us? It's bats. Back, I say. I know your poison ass is all pain. I don't think those was the bats that shoot poison, though. Hey, we level 20, cool. Three skill points. I believe I was trying to get this one last. 
A cry of rage which greatly increased attack speed and combo speed. The Fury. Now my question is, do we have to equip that as well? Yeah, we do. Okay. Bind to... Wow, we run a lot of binds, yeah? Not really, no, man. Okay. This ancient seal. seal. I know the insignia. Even if it has become more detailed in recent decades. It's hard to believe my eyes. What nation does it belong to? This is the ancient coat of arms of Serene. It's a congregation seal. I think the information is pointing to something clear. No possible doubt remains. All the clues point in the same direction. The people from the sea who built these ruins and confronted the natives... They were us. It's difficult to admit. And to think that I turn to you to help us against the Bridge Alliance. I do not judge you guilty of the crimes of your ancestors. But this story is known. I know. This will not help our relations with your people, that is certain. <sighs> and to think we helped you. I'm having trouble dealing with this, even if it does explain a lot. We're gonna have to keep this story under lock and key. The natives are not going to swallow it easily without a long chew. Oh, this must be the reason they kept us in the dark. Constantine is going to be furious when he learns this. Wow. That's that's intense right there, man. All right, guys. For now, we're going to have to end it here, unfortunately. But next time, we'll continue on and see what else we could do. And see what else we could find, actually. Because I'm pretty sure... There's more into this place that meets the eyes. So as for now, I do hope each and every one of you have a lovely night or day, depending on where you are. And remember, guys, I will see y'all all in the next one. Peace.